let's continue watching other tech YouTubers. And a couple of these guys, they say something about CCNA. They are saying that it's just a waste. These people, all negativity, they are discouraging you guys. We will comment and react on this who are saying CCNA is worthless. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Here is why I think CCNA is a waste of time in 2021. First of all, why, why do you want to do this certification? Well, first, why CCNA? CCNA is widely popular. It is required by many recruiters and hiring managers. Getting a CCNA and acquiring the skills will get you nothing but points and advantages in your job application and interview. In the past 10 or 15 years ago, this certification used to lead to an entry-level position to be working as a network engineer doing support for routers and switches. CCNA is not just routing and switching. It also includes wireless networking, security, virtualization, and even open source technologies such as Linux, Python, and containers. It's obvious, man, that you don't know the contents of CCNA. These jobs are not that common anymore after everything has moved to the cloud. All right. Everything is moving to the cloud. Not everything, dude. We know that the internet is growing real, real fast. There are more and more provider edge routers. The number of backbone routers are increasing. So network engineer roles in telco and service provider environment will keep growing. How about wireless network slash Wi-Fi is also increasing in many public locations such as malls, hotels, parks, air airport, hospitals, and many more. Now, the more access points, the more switches. And the more switches, the more networks to manage. What are you talking about? If you want to learn network fundamentals, you can just learn them online for free. You can learn the OSI model. You can learn what a router and switch do. You don't really need to learn how to configure a Cisco router or a switch. Um, if you're really adamant about doing a CCNA, you can just study the material and not pay for the exam. It will not do anything to help you. If you want to spend money instead, do cloud certifications or cybersecurity certifications. They are a lot more in demand. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. You can study network concepts and everything online. Really, it will do nothing to help you, but it's always better to have certificate, you know? All right. Would you want to complete three or four year college, but not having a degree at all? Cloud certifications are getting more and more in demand. Yes, but of course, having a CCNA is always better. It's better to get more certifications. Actually, it's getting, it's better to get more certifications other than CCNA. And I've already mentioned this in my previous video. CCNA is not enough. More valuable certifications is always better. As a former network engineer for many years, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to tell you the truth. Don't waste your time getting a CCNA certification. It's a waste of time in 2022. If you're a beginner in IT industry or career shifter looking for a job, you don't know exactly what kind of job you will end up getting. It can be a Linux slash server admin, it can be into virtualization, it can be in cloud, cybersecurity, and network engineer. From all the roles mentioned, it's still related to networking and CCNA. Believe it or not, it's still the most in-demand entry-level certification. The shift is towards cloud. Take those technical skills that you have and 
focus them into becoming a cloud architect, a solutions architect, and learning those vital, essential, valuable cloud skills, and you'll have a long, prosperous, and fruitful career in technology. Like what I mentioned, cloud skills is really, really good. And if you are already working in a company with no or have small offices, all of their servers and applications are cloud-based, yeah, you can skip CCNA. But you should not listen to this guy saying everything is moving to the cloud. Come on. How about large companies, banking and oil industries? What else? Hotels, casinos, airline, etc. They still have huge network environment. They still have large data centers. And if you are really specializing in cybersecurity, it's better to experience working in large corporate network environment first. For right. many, many, That's many years easy. to come. You have to think long-term, not short-term. Could you get a CCNA certification and find a job somewhere working for some you know, small business managing routers and switches? Yes, you could. But as soon as they decide to migrate to the cloud, which is inevitable, there you are with a certification using skills that aren't even, you can't even use anymore. Another thing is, it's also good to work with SIs, also known as system integrators, also known as resellers. These are still considered small and mid-sized businesses. There are many vendors out there, Cisco, Palo Alto, HP, Fortinet, F5, Arista, etc. And even if the SI is not Cisco reseller, you will still need CCNA skills. CCNA is not just about routing and switching. They introduce cybersecurity, voice and video, open source technologies, and many others. CCNA is still the most popular certification out there. And it's good to combine it with cloud or cybersecurity certifications. And one more thing. Let's jump to the more or higher level, the expert level. CCIE is still the most powerful certification out there. And having a CCIE, you can easily move to cloud, cybersecurity, and management role with lots of money.